Let's begin with our continuing coverage of the Indian Prime Minister's significant Europe trip. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has landed in Berlin after Germany. The Prime Minister will also visit Denmark and France. And this happens to be Prime Minister Modi's first visit abroad in the year 2022. While in Berlin, he will be holding bilateral talks with the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. The two leaders will co-chair the sixth edition of the India-Germany Intergovernmental Consultations. Several other ministers from both the sides will participate in the high-level talks. Prime Minister Modi met the Indian diaspora in Berlin. People extended a warm welcome to the Indian Prime Minister. And the next stop on this action-packed agenda will be Copenhagen. The Prime Minister of Denmark, Mette Frederiksen, has invited Prime Minister Modi. He will participate in the second India-Nordic summit hosted by Denmark. Prime Minister Modi will interact with other Nordic leaders, including Prime Ministers of Iceland, Norway, Sweden and Finland. He will also attend an India-Denmark business forum. Prime Minister Modi will then meet the Indian community in Denmark. The summit will focus on key issues of common interest like the post-pandemic economic recovery, climate change, renewable energy, the evolving global security scenario, innovation and technology, and of course, the India-Nordic cooperation in the Arctic. And last but not the least, Prime Minister Modi will make a brief stop in Paris. He will meet with French President Emmanuel Macron, who was recently elected for the second term. India and France complete 75 years of diplomatic cooperation this year. The high-level meeting comes at a time when Russia continues its invasion of Ukraine. The European Union is trying to find alternatives to Russian oil and gas. Europe's focus is shifting to green energy to reduce its dependence on Russian energy. The European Investment Bank will now focus on sustainable projects within India. And as we've been reporting, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, is now joining us live yet again from Berlin, from the heart of action. Sidhan, thanks for joining us yet again. Tell us about the mood in Berlin as of now. We know that, of course, all eyes are on the meeting between India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the new German Chancellor. What can we expect and what are Indians, the Indian diaspora in Germany, asking for at this point? We will, of course, get our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sadhan Sibyl, back with us. He is, of course, reporting for us from the heart of the action in Berlin, in Germany. But there are quite a few updates lined up already. As we know, this happens to be the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first foreign trip of the year. Expectations are riding high. Uh, all this is happening, of course, while the Ukraine war is looming large. It's bound to be high on the agenda as the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi meets with several European leaders. The most significant is the upcoming meeting between Prime Minister Modi and, of course, Olaf Scholz. And these, of course, are live visuals coming in from Berlin in Germany, where, of course, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is meeting with the Indian diaspora. As we can see, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi enjoys immense popularity in Berlin and Germany. We earlier showed you visuals of how he was greeted with a warm welcome by the Indian diaspora and, of course, other people in Berlin. And these, of course, are live visuals coming in from Berlin. And this is the reception for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Allies, of course, will be on this highly anticipated meeting between India's Prime Minister Modi and the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. Ukraine is bound to be high on the agenda. Remember, Russia is continuing its invasion of Ukraine. India so far has exercised a balanced approach when it comes to taking a stance. It has called for peaceful dialogue instead of taking a side. And all eyes will be on the outcome, the big announcements once the two leaders meet. These are, of course, visuals coming in from Berlin. We can see 
quite a lot of cultural display of, of course, the Indian heritage in Berlin in Germany. And to talk more about it, we of course have our, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhan Sibyl, who is now live with us from the heart of the action. Siddhan, thanks for joining us. We are of course watching these visuals of, uh, we just saw Prime Minister Modi interact with the Indian diaspora. Lots of anticipation, a very warm welcome meted out to Prime Minister Modi. Tell us more about what's happening. Well, uh, Priyanka, uh, I couldn't hear you properly because there is a lot of ambience around me because the Prime Minister has just left and the diaspora is in full force here, uh, enthusiastically meeting the Prime Minister. Uh, we saw those little visuals of uh, uh, the Indian Prime Minister meeting the diaspora and uh, that, of course, is the colour of uh, this visit. In fact, I'm standing just in front of the Brandenburg uh, Great it's, uh, Gate, which is next to uh, the hotel where Prime Minister is uh, staying in. We saw those colourful visuals of celebration of India. In fact, it was stunning uh, in terms of uh, uh, the representation as well and the entire diaspora from Germany has has descended in Berlin to welcome uh, the Indian uh, Prime Minister and you can still behind me hear uh, the enthusiasm of, of the duels which are being played but after some time it will be hard diplomacy because the Prime Minister has just left for the Chancellery where he is going to be the German Chancellor, uh, the new German Chancellor where of course the focus will be on many issues whether it's energy, renewables uh, and people to people relationship and in fact this diaspora celebration is essentially the celebration of India-Germany relationship and the role the Indian diaspora has right. uh, been playing, the positive role the Indian diaspora has been playing oh when it comes God. to Germany. Right, of course, Siddhan, now uh, we can barely hear you. That is a sign of the warm welcome that has been meted out to the Indian Prime Minister. Of course, we saw the visuals, we saw the warm reception given to him. But of course, there must be something that the Indian diaspora wants from the Indian Prime Minister. We are, of course, waiting for that meeting between Prime Minister Modi and the German Chancellor. Tell us more about the expectations. Well, the, the Indian diaspora, uh, the, their first expectation is to meet the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and many of them behind me uh, were able to do so in the morning and of course right now as well we saw those visuals, uh, a very enthusiastic Indian diaspora. We'll try to speak to some of them as well uh, but uh, their expectations range from number of issues. Uh, uh, let me go to some of them. Uh, how was your meeting with the Indian Prime Minister? The Indian Prime Minister just came and uh, how enthusiastic you are about Prime Minister's visit? Very enthusiastic and it was like, yeah, dream come true sometimes. Uh -huh. We were waiting for about one hour or so uh -huh. in the queue. It was like, yeah, uh -huh. and it was nice to see him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You waited for one hour, Bab. Would you like to talk about your expectation from the Prime Minister and about his visit as well? Yeah, of course. Uh, we were waiting from morning to... Just like me the look. yeah look we are getting at goosebumps after watching more and we are so happy <laughs> yeah uh -huh. Uh -huh. you would like to add ma'am something yeah uh, actually we participated in the cultural event batu kamma uh, that happened in the morning to yeah. welcome modi yeah. in front yeah. of the brandenburg tour uh -huh. and we were waiting just to take a glimpse of him uh -huh. and uh, the entire indian community was cheering for modi uh -huh. and we are so happy that he is here uh -huh. and i hope with his meet the bilateral ties are going to get stronger mm -hmm. and India is going to send a symbol of peace mm -hmm. through Narendra Modi. A symbol of peace. This is the view. Uh, that is the expectation of uh, uh, the Indian uh, diaspora. And of course, they are still in very enthusiastic uh, mode. And uh, they have uh, again become very enthusiastic uh, uh, watching us uh, uh, with uh, their expectations, asking them that question. But by and large, uh, this is the color of uh, this visit. This is the first stop is the, of this uh, visit of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. But there on, there, here on, there will be more uh, discussions. Uh, there will be, of course, diaspora events as well one of course is in Copenhagen uh, as well but hard diplomacy next few hours will be about hard diplomacy about Ukraine about trade about economy about energy about renewables so that will be the focus uh, and of course there will be the briefing by the Indian Foreign Secretary as well that will give details about more outcomes Absolutely, of right. this very important visit the one day visit of uh, the Indian Prime Minister to Germany Absolutely, Sidhan, thanks so much for all those inputs and in fact all those uh, enthusiastic responses from on ground. We will of course come to you for more updates once the Prime Minister sits down with the German Chancellor. Thanks for speaking to us. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.